This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes, creators of the world's best repair manuals. Fix your car or truck the right way with our accurate and reliable information at your side. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete online manual at Haynes.com. Starter motor replacement. Open the door and pull the hood release lever located on the driver's side kick panel. Slide the hood safety latch to the left, then raise the hood upwards. Apply the handbrake. Chalk the rear wheels to prevent the vehicle from rolling. Insert a screwdriver into the slot in the hubcap and pry the hubcap off. Loosen the front wheel lug nuts. Place a floor jack under the front differential, raise the front of the truck, then support it with a jack stand placed under the left side of the axle. Move the floor jack under the right side of the front axle. Then raise the front of the truck and support it on a jack stand placed under the right side axle. Remove the front wheel lug nuts and remove the right front wheel. Remove the various Fenderwell splash shield fasteners. Remove the Fenderwell splash shield. If the starter has a heat shield, remove it. Remove the protective plastic cap, then unscrew and disconnect the wiring from the terminals on the starter solenoid. Remove the starter motor mounting bolts. Note that there are two short bolts and one long bolt that is accessed from the opposite side. Slide the starter motor rearward from the transmission bell housing Rotate the starter nose upwards and lift the starter over the frame and out through the fender well opening. Install the starter motor over the frame and into the transmission bell housing, then screw in the shorter mounting bolts. Install the starter motor longer mounting bolt. Tighten the starter motor mounting bolts to the specified torque setting. Connect the starter motor electrical connections to their correct stud terminals, then screw on the nuts and tighten them securely. Install the protective plastic cap onto the starter terminals. Also install the heat shield if equipped. Install the inner fender well splash shield. Secure the splash shield in place with the various retaining fasteners. Install the wheel and lug nuts. Lower the front of the truck to the ground. Tighten the wheel lug nuts to the specified torque setting, then install the wheel trim caps. Release the handbrake. Connect the cables to the negative battery terminals on both batteries and tighten the cable nuts securely.